2K just released the city trailer and we have the new parks, stage, rec, rep system, my court, and ranked mode to go over. So let's waste zero time and react to some of these screenshots and then go over the in-depth info 2K provided. So subscribe, drop a like, follow my Twitch for 2K25 giveaways and to watch me grind a Legend 5 live. Yeah, Legend 5. And let's get into it. Also, 2K15 parks are back. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet an early 2K25 video. Drop a like. We are about to zoom in on all of these screenshots and really just find every hint we could possibly find or as much information as we could possibly consume about all these screenshots. And then we're going to go over the courtside report with all of the details about these screenshots and the city and the park and all that good stuff. Anyways, here is the first screenshot we're looking at right here. This is the stage or the new Annie up for 2K25. We have not seen a new stage since what 2k21 next gen and that's back when stage was only on tuesdays and thursdays so let's go ahead and analyze this really quick so first of all it's giving off some coliseum vibes this that's pretty fire i'm not gonna lie i'd like the vibes it's giving off uh the annie up logo is not in the middle of the courts anymore but the courts are super simple so i like that they didn't do too much it's simple courts i like that another thing to notice we have four 3v3 courts all stacked up right in a row then we have four 2v2 courts all stacked up right in a row then we have a 1v1 court in the back left we have a 1v1 another 1v1 court in the back right and then we have a court that's kind of like you have to go up like a staircase to go up to and i'm assuming that's just the highest vc court it's probably the 10k vc court or maybe if they if 2k was feeling themselves you know they put a 25k vc court up there but also i'm seeing like a second level i don't know if there actually is a second level but like you see there's like a railing that's around the top of this uh stage i'm assuming that you just can't access that and that's just like kind of for show now the only thing that i see that could be uh, a little minor l about this is that the 1v1 court still only has one got next spot i don't know a lot of people i feel like would prefer the three got next spots like the line kind of thing that 2k20 had uh but outside of that this is a w first screenshot is a w finally got a new stage i like the vibes is getting and not only that all the courts are right next to each other bro they are there is almost zero space between these courts this is a perfect layout for the stage it's a new venue it's a new look this looks good w2k all right so here is a screenshot of the city now i'm not gonna lie i already did look at some other screenshots already so i do know a couple things that were on there so i am recognizing some things already first of all let's analyze this screenshot completely one thing i will say before we do that is that they did take the 2k24 kind of street vibe at the bottom of the city and i guess they're putting it in the middle of the city here and yeah that's kind of the vibe they're going for here but let's look at the bottom right here you see these coming soon side signs uh these are always on the theater event signs when the season hasn't like officially started yet and yeah so that means this is the theater right here but you see there's more coming soon signs on the left of this annie up logo so this is where the annie up is but this is also where the theater is and obviously we just saw the annie up like inside of it so the theater's not in there so i guess they're compacting the city as much as they possibly can because they're putting the ante up in the theater on the same wall slash building i guess but it, it when you go load in or like click a to enter like it's different places so that's good they're, they're clearly trying to compact the city and make it small as possible with that minor or that simple change right there then in the middle of the road we have new balance under armor jordan nike stores by the way, bottom left, like I said, I already took a look at the other screenshots. Bottom left, this is where the My Court is going to be around, next to that Jason Tatum mural. Another thing I see is this sign behind the Jordan store that says Proving Grounds. That is going to be where the new ranked mode. Yeah, we're going to go over that later, take a look at some screenshots, and also talk about that in the court side, or read it over because they talked about it in the court side report. What else we got here? In the back left, next to this Curry uh, mural, I see swags and I also see the wreck. So once again, when it comes to compacting the city, it looks like they just they just have these stores like in between the actual game modes that are important. So like instead of like making like a whole section for stores and a whole section for the stage and a whole section for the wreck and a whole section for the theater, they're just putting it all on like the same walls. So honestly, once again, they're really compacting this city. And this is looking good i also see like the nba store i think right there next to the nike store and then if we take a look all the way in the back there's like this basketball or something where you can go in there i don't know if this is gonna be like a spawn point maybe or what's going on over there there's like some 2k signs 
as well is an actual leaderboard screen if you guys remember 2k17 or 2k16 they used to have these leaderboard screens in the actual sunset river in old town parks and now they're bringing it back in 2k25 so that's a huge w and it shows the top 10 rep leaders with their my players and gamer tag as on there that bro that's fire i'm not gonna lie i'm glad they brought that back that's a huge w um hopefully those are in the parks as well because that's cool another thing i'm noticing is that there's like a road to go out to the left and a road to go out to the right i'm assuming that's where the offline stuff is because it seems like all the online stuff is going to be in this main street and keep in mind we're probably like in the middle of the street so behind the camera if that makes sense is probably where starting five is or maybe where like some other online game modes that you don't see here is at and then yeah you probably turn right to go to like the micro stadium or turn left to go to like that sunset beach court where you grind your badges another thing i'm noticing is i think on the left is probably like the rise or elite park and then on the right is the other park because there's like a pirate ship on the right and then there's like this cage on the left so that's probably where the affiliation parks are at after analyzing this screenshot you can tell that they genuinely genuinely we're trying to compact this city as small as possible and hopefully like this is kind of like a small circle if that makes sense like take a look at the back where the 2k25 signs are you know how it kind of like circles around hopefully this is just like a small circle and this is really that's old in the city so i would give that a w for 2k trying to compact the city to make it smaller next screenshot okay so this is the elite park okay so we see that we're once again analyzing the screenshot we see that top 10 leaderboards uh sign in the park as well that's a w we see a massive pirate ship i'm seeing an ocean palm trees i'm seeing maybe all the way in the back there is like there's like this elite sign maybe that's where the daily reward is not only that i'm seeing a court on the pirate ship uh maybe you can i mean i guess you can play on top of it maybe even there's more courts on that pirate ship and taking a look at the actual courts i'm seeing 3v3 courts i'm seeing twos courts i am not seeing a 1v1 court there's also like this weird i don't think there's anywhere to go in this like little tunnel cave area i think that's just a blocked off wall i guess this park in general is just kind of below the city almost because if we go back to the last screenshot the pirate ship was kind of popping out um and it really wasn't a like on leveled ground so this park is kind of below this city so you can i mean they were definitely trying to compact this stuff they got all the main stuff in the middle of the road then they got the actual parks under that but to be honest i'm giving this third screenshot the first l of the video i just feel like the vibes are good right the vibes could be good and i'm not gonna lie some people are gonna like this park i don't think it's a bad park or anything but i feel like there's just a little too much going on like why do we have to go to a pirate ship to get on other court and then these courts down here are close together but then like the pirate ship makes courts far away so like honestly maybe it's not an l it could be like a hybrid like w and l to be honest but we'll have to see when we get the game if people can go on win streaks in this park if people can back get back to back games because that's really going to be the true test for this park right here it's not like too extra like the squids in 2k24 so at least they toned it down a little bit because we do want like realistic parks next screenshot apparently this is the rise park and wow this is not a hybrid wl this is an l what is going on they got robots on the ceiling they got a robot arm being the the basketball like hoop like there's a robot in that wall over there dude this is just they tried to go for like a rivet vibe with like the little underground stuff over here and you can tell by the ceiling that thing on the left in that initial city screenshot was this park um so uh, we don't have like a screenshot of like all of the courts and the court spacing of this park but i'm assuming that the courts are closer together just like the other park but yeah man this futuristic vibe is just not it i do not like the vibe of this park i kind of liked the vibe of the other park but this park like this one makes me like not even want to play in this park i don't know about y'all maybe you have different opinions on it i feel like they're go for like the kids audience with this park but personally for me i'm not messing with this park i don't even see me ever even having any interest in even playing in this park all right here's a screenshot of the outside of the my court you guys already saw my court gameplay in some of my build videos if you guys didn't see that go check them out and there's like the stores on the side you see the puma and stuff and that's probably where the nba stadium is that in the back left so i was probably right about that initial city screenshot where like if you turn left or right that's where the nba stadium's at because that seems to be about right and like i told y'all that jason tatum mural 
this is where the my core is so if we go back to that initial city screenshot right there on the other side of that wall is where this my core is and it looks like if you zoom in on the actual door it's it works just like the theater does in 2k24 the wreck where like you kind of walk into that like light up like stuff and then it just kind of spawns you into the my court now this is obviously a w for the my court returning uh but the only issue is that could be a potential l is not being able to spawn in your my court when you load up a my player i'm hoping that when you load up a my player you have the option to spawn in the my court because just like 2k17 because that would be a huge w here is a screenshot of inside the my court we already know what inside of the my court looks like we showed it in the build videos uh but obviously you can customize the stuff they got the bulls stuff up there hey shout out to the bulls we suck right now i am a bulls fan but uh yeah uh you know they 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 represent now in the my court right here next screenshot is the wreck okay um this is kind of a w kind of an l it i don't know it the the scenery looks very similar to 2k24 i don't think it is the exact same thing but it does look very similar that's the kind of the l part but the w that i'm seeing is the court there was a lot of rec courts in 2k24 that were really hard to look at hard on the eyes i like this i like the gradient simple color inside the three-point line I like the hardwood with no like crazy my player logo going across the entire court. Just this simple gradient color, the simple color on the rec logo. The court looks clean and the jerseys, I mean, I mean, they're nothing crazy. Those will probably change from season to season anyways. So I would give a W for the court. And honestly, maybe we just need to see a different screenshot for the actual venue of where this wreck is being taken place at. But otherwise, it's kind of looking, I don't know. It's kind of like, an L. I don't really mess with the venue. All right, next screenshot is that sunset court where you can grind your badges against like Disco. I'm pretty sure you can do it with like another, with like a teammate this year. So yeah, not, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Nothing really much to talk about here. It's cool. It's on the sand. I don't know where this could be located wherever this is located it will be used to get hot zones 100 oh this is actually fire so they add the next screenshot is a squad finder this is super cool they had something like this but it never really like no one used it and it didn't work so hopefully this is used and works because this is really important for players that you know struggle finding teammates i know y'all are out there y'all some of y'all are probably watching the video right now but this is cool you can adjust what squad size you want to you're looking for whether you're playing twos threes or fives play style time to sweat so like a casual or sweaty teammate that cares about the record microphone status that's a w uh overall range your performance range so that's like what color your your uh my players uh what is it called banner is so like the purple gold silver okay uh affiliation elite arise i don't know why that would matter because you could play with either or, or maybe not i don't know but i don't know why that would matter too much but this is a huge w it, it's got to be able it, hopefully it's just used by most people and hopefully it works all right here we go this is the new game mode i was talking about and it's crazy because i had to look at these screenshots before i recorded this video because i was so excited but if y'all remember like there was like a TikTok and youtube short i had made like a year or two ago and bro i literally said this exact idea for the rank mode everything i had all the ideas i had about the potential rank mode to be in 2k that i said in that video is literally in the game that's what's crazy like I, they must have saw that video or something maybe they didn't but i'd like to you know see in my own world that you know they they did see that video type of thing so i'm gonna just go with that but hey man proving grounds this is the new ranked mode so we have bronze silver gold platinum diamond top ranked so a lot of people are going to see this screenshot and be like oh this is just 3v3 pro -Am. i mean yeah the ranks are like 3v3 pro -Am. similar rewards to 3v3 pro -Am, um but not for all of them and when we talk when we talk about this mode in the in the course i report you're going to quickly see how this might be the biggest w we have ever seen in 2k news history but yeah bronze is just where you begin silver you finally put get your uh, ranked thing on your uh banner and then gold you get me some more rep 100 win vc bonus platinum 25 percent more rep 250 win vc bonus uh diamond 50 percent more rep 500 vc win bonus and then top ranked you get double rep top ranked icon okay so i guess this is like a leaderboard thing where like you have to be some some like at some point on the top of leaderboards whether that's top 100 top 10 whatever so 500 vc win bonus animated player banner and then it's just in very small text banner awarded to the top five at the end of each season okay so there's rewards for each season these probably reset at the leaderboards probably reset every season too these vc bonuses are gonna hit especially if you reach top rank like 
an X or a diamond, an extra 500 VC. If you're already getting like 400 VC in that, bro, a thousand VC a game, especially like on the ones court, bro, if you're ending games fast, that's going to hit. I wish the VC bonuses were higher, obviously, but bro, that's going to be like three or four times as more VC as a park game, most likely. So this is going to be on an underrated method for good players for VC. Here's another screenshot of what the Proving Grounds looks like. Now, if we go back to the city screenshot, that is, like I said, that's where the Proving Grounds is going to be located. And that's what the rank mode is called. But going back to this initial screenshot of the Proving Grounds and what it looks like inside, dude, this is fire. This is exactly what I told them to do. And they actually ended up doing it. We have a 1v1 door, a 2v2 door, a 3v3 door, and a 5v5 door. And I'm assuming there's going to be like certain ranks or different ranks and different leaderboards for each of 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5. I mean, I I'm in heaven right now, bro. If you are a competitive player, this is like your dream game mode. I will probably be in here all year long. I'm going to be obsessed with this game mode. I'm genuinely excited for 2K25 now. Like you have been asking me if I'm excited. Th this is the moment like right here where I'm genuinely excited. Like... <laughs> This is insane that this is in the game. I'm not going to do too much yapping. So let's just go on to the next thing. Oh my God. Okay. The rep screenshot. So initially I see the top 10, which is not good, but we have a top rep leaderboards again. That's good. We already know that from the other screenshots. Uh, elite rise is probably going to have certain rewards in here because, you know, this is like elite themed when you look at the screen. So there's probably going to be certain rewards like heat check or to a tenacity or maybe something different that's in these rewards. Also, there's going to be cap breakers in these rewards at some point. They already told us that. But look at this. Rookie 1 to 5, starter 1 to 5, veteran 1 to 5, legend 1 to 5. I'm not going to lie. It looks like they combined the 2K24 rep system and like the 2K15 or 16 rep system with the 2K20. It's like they combined a bunch of reps. systems all in one because legend 5, that sounds insane, bro. I ain't going to lie, man. Depending on the specifics and what the rewards are looking like, this has potential to be another massive W. So far, all the screenshots we've seen, this is the last screenshot right here, have been Ws outside of the actual parks. Uh, it's looking good. Let's go ahead and dive deep into that courtside report and go into detail on the information when it comes to the city, the rep system, the ranked mode, the wreck, uh, the parks, all that good stuff. All right, now it's time to go into the courtside report. This is a bunch of like in detail information about each screenshot we looked at and each game mode we were talking about. I'm not going to read over this entire thing. So I'm going to be like a spark note summary type of thing here. Like I'm about to just like put y'all on if you don't want to read. But if you want to read, you can pause and read over all this stuff. So the first paragraph, they talked about that little street in the city and they're calling it the Boulevard of the Stars. And they basically just talked about how they wanted to make everything like super compact. And they took like the community's advice on that and they wanted to make the city smaller and they wanted to make the city more about basketball now i think they did that in the little street thing but what they didn't do and what they didn't make about basketball is the actual place where we're playing basketball <laughs> and that's the parks you know you got a pirate ship you got mechs walking around and hanging off ceilings like it's just a little too much that stuff has nothing to do with basketball so other than that yeah i mean that that's what they were going with but i do think that street that they were talking about they definitely did a good job making that about basketball then they talked about proving grounds and dude i mean this is the exact idea i had they they listened to everything it is skill-based matchmaking now hopefully that ends up working because if it doesn't work it's gonna ruin the whole game mode so they did say it was skill-based matchmaking they also said that the leaderboards and your like rank is separate from each mode. So 1v1, you could be like bronze, but 3v3, you could be platinum. Uh, and then like your rank could be like rank five in the world for 2v2, but you could be out of the top 10,000 in 5v5, right? So that's a W. They also said that there's going to be like seasonal rewards for this mode. And that if you're in the top 100, you're under top ranked, uh depending on what mode you're in so if you're in the top 100 for 1v1 you're top ranked for 1v1 if you're in the top 100 for 5v5 you're top ranked for 5v5 and they said if you're top five though you get a logo that displays their your rank they said if you're top five you get like a special animated player banner and a top ranked logo so i don't know if that's just talking about the banner because they said you get the logo banner at like what silver so 
I think this is actually a logo above your head, like a 2K logo. So that would be fire. Like imagine you're like first in the world as a 1v1 player and you have that above your head. Like that's fire. Then they talked about how like Stage, Pro-Am and Antiep have new venues. They talked about how Pro-Am has like, if you reach a certain level with your Pro-Am team, you get like this big stadium just like back in the day. And they were just talking about how like the, each mode has like their new aesthetics. So yeah, you guys can read that over if you want. Then they went over my court and really the only two takeaways from here that we don't already know that you need to keep in mind is that the my court does have those drills back not only that you can adjust the difficulty setting in your my court so that's going to be huge if you're just trying to get on warm up the jump shot maybe even just test jump shots or you know play 1v1 against you know some dude in a drill and put it on hall of fame or something then they talk about the rise in elite affiliations they talk about how elite is led by ld2k just like last year and they basically described the park they basically said you have to go up on the zip line pulley thing to reach the top deck in the in the ship and that there's a court inside the ship too just basically some extra stuff that just doesn't need to be in the park then they talked about the rise park that's led by shakedown i mean this stuff is insane man they said that there's going to be 75 foot tall mechs being built around you then there's going to be ais like literally npcs walking around the park carrying and transporting mech bodies around the freaking park like what the heck are they talking about and then they said that they made these parks based on community feedback to make the course closer and yes they did make the course closer despite those courts in that ship but we haven't really seen the courts in the rise or the rise parks we haven't seen how far away those ones are maybe there's a court inside of a mech body who even knows but um they didn't listen that we wanted realistic parks man i mean come on bro this robot park I, like i could i could see the rise park with the ship in the ocean okay you, you can get away with that but this mech park this this rise park oh my god bro it's insane then they talked about how they made 2k uh more easier to learn for new players and this is actually a really good stuff in here this was a w paragraph they basically you know have a bunch of like new tutorials for people and then they said there's going to be like a casual court in some of the parks um i'm guessing rise and elite where like you know how like when you on your player panel you're either like a purple gold silver or whatever they basically said if you're hooper status or below or something or like one of the lower statuses you're allowed on these casual courts that have easier settings you can make whites and stuff they're basically just for bad players and if you don't you know meet the requirements as a quote unquote bad player that you can't even be allowed to play on the court and it doesn't allow squads either so yeah i could i could see me making some videos on here but uh yeah this is uh it's good for uh you know new players i like that casual court especially for people that don't have teammates that aren't good at the game that's actually a good idea i probably would have never thought of something like that then they talk about the street ball court literally nothing to note here except that you're gonna be able to grind these badges against disco again with this time with an actual user on your team so you can co-op in that mode now now this part people are probably not even gonna know about this because they skipped the video or they just already left the video after watching the screenshots 2k15 my parks are back um they're bringing back rivet from 2k15 they're bringing back sunset park from 2k15 they're bringing back the old town park from 2k15 which was that park by the way specifically also was used as the mountain dew park in 17 uh but anyways they also are bringing back the old town park on the aircraft carrier that they won through the my park championship back in 2k15 by the way i was on old town for that you know not to flex or anything shout out to everybody that was old town in 2k15 uh but yeah i mean hey i played 2k15 so this is cool uh they're bringing them back for events though so these events are only going to be double rep events that are not leaderboard events and this is like a it's like a w and an l because it's like dude you gave my team the best park of all time that rivet city park and you gave them that permanently but then you turn around and you give the 2k15 parks which are awesome but you give them temporarily like i just don't get that man you could have removed rise and elite and made them for these parks you could have put these parks in the theater so at least they're like a weekly thing instead of like only on the weekends for a specific event at the end of the season I just don't understand it man and then they said it's like for the first four seasons they're gonna do this so like after the first four seasons are we just never gonna see these again like i don't know i feel like they really missed the mark like they it's like they had it and then they like fumbled if that makes sense like they, it could have been a lot better but hey at least they brought them back then they talked about rep and legend this is really important so once again rookie won the five starter won the five veteran won the five legend won the five 
Now, they did say top 10 is back, like it shows in the screenshot, and it's gonna work the same way where the leaderboards update every 24 hours, and if you're in the top 10, you have the rewards, and if you are out of the top 10, you lose the rewards, which kind of sounds ass, right? But wait a second, they, they actually, they're a genius for this. This completely fixes top 10 for me, and this makes this rep system, in my opinion, a rep system that could potentially be the best one of all time so they first of all said that this they mentioned the cap breakers are in these rewards and i'll by the way i'm assuming that this elite and rise like stuff there's probably going to be some like special rewards based off of your elite rise but they didn't specifically say that another thing they said though is they were hyping up the rewards from legend two to five they said those are going to be like really good and then not only that they said if you are the one of the first 100 legend fours on either playstation or xbox you're gonna get like some special reward so that alone is gonna make me grind for legend four i'm going to go for top 100 on xbox so make sure to follow the twitch because we will be streaming the grind and we will be locking in for that uh so that's dope i mean this if the if the rewards are good in here and that legend four reward is good for those top 100 players this could really be some good stuff right here. I'm excited about that. Then they put some like closing remarks. They talked about like the triple threat park, the Gatorade gym, how the new rebirth works, which is really good. Uh, and like the new race of the week with like Lego 2K drive or whatever. And yeah, I mean, you guys can read it over pause. Let me know your thoughts on all this news. What are you most excited for? What did you hate the most in this news? Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, 900K on the way. Follow the Twitch, man, because this Legend 5 grind is gonna be crazy, man. Anyways, it's your boy Henry, AKA Double H. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.